morning everyone so today we're going to discuss the after case hearing report or the during trial okay so first i would like to give an overview about the after case hearing report so uh, since wala pa kayong background sa criminal law i'll just give you a brief overview para ma-imagine nyo how it works okay so your duty as a law enforcer in this in this particular case is to accompany those PDL. Di ba yung PDL yung mga persons deprived of liberty, correct? So yung mga PDL na yon, they are the ones na may kaso, na may pending case na tinatrial pa sa korte. Na may pending case sa court. Okay? So sila yung mga persons na accused na walang capacity para mag-bail or yung kaso na sinampas sa kanila is non-bailable. Okay? Dalawa lang yun. So, your duty as a police officer or a law enforcer is to accompany them. Sasamahan nyo sila every trial. Once na merong notice for trial, sasamahan nyo sila sa korte. Okay? So, the purpose, definitely, the purpose of this after case hearing report is for you to just uh, report what happened during the trial. Okay? So, this would be very easy compared dun sa mga previous na ginawa natin. So, it will just uh, take us, I think, mga five minutes to finish discussing this one. Okay? The same the same information here, PNP Gapan. Or kung nasaan kang lugar, PNP Kabaratuan or whatsoever. For, uh, let's say, dito kasi sa Gapan si Colonel Alexi de Samito yung chief of police okay from state your name yeah PO1 PO1 uh Gio sorry si Gio lang kasi yung <laughs> kabisado ko yung name daram yan okay after case hearing report you can also caps lock this one upper case okay make sure na naka-align siya yan and then the date, what date is it today? It's uh, October 2, ay October 4 pala, I'm sorry, 2021. So, yan. Uppercase. So, okay. Dito sa first, uh, first paragraph, this has reference to the court hearing which was attended today by the undersigned, ikaw yun, undersigned, together with kung may kasama ka. Okay, sabihin natin kasama mo si PO1 PO1 Gerald Palomo. Okay? Together with PO1 Gerald Palomo relative to the case filed by oh, so mag-refer tayo dun sa case. Meron akong pin-repair dito. Filed by ito, Dong Hei. Nakikita niyo ba? Final siya ni Dong Hei Havelana versus Tiffany R Limsaka. Okay, so tandaan nyo yan. Donghe. Ayan, para makita nyo siya pareho. Filed by Ayan. Donghe. S. Havelana. Against Against uh, Tiffany Tiffany R. Limsaka. Limsaka. Okay? It is not always na dito nakalagay yung yung plaintiff. Ano? Once na nakita mo yung plaintiff, siya yung nagsampa ng kaso versus yung defendant. Siya naman yung tinasuhan. Docketed under CC number. Ito yun. Civil case number 24711. So, lalagay mo yung number dito. 24711 Okay? Scheduled for an arraignment at the sala of... Sino yung judge? Sino yung presiding judge? Kunyari, umatend ka doon sa, sa, sa trial na yun. Sino yung judge na yun? Sa sala yung judge na yun? Sabihin natin. Ako na yun. Kunwari, Judge Shara Valiese. Okay? Let's just say that. However, said court hearing arraignment was set because... Ayan. Alisin na natin to. It's not important na. 
because si attorney ganito daw, so yung counsel ng respondent ni dito si Tiffany Arlim Saka, nag-request ng motion for reinvestigation. It's not every it's not always na motion for investigation. Marami siyang pwedeng i-request na motion, motion for reconsideration, ano pa? Motion for uh preliminary investigation. Ayan, set because uh, mag-invento ka attorney. Uh, attorney, sino ba? Mag-invento na tayong pangalan. CKY D Y. Okay. Counsel of the respondent submitted or filed a motion for investigation of the case and was res- presented to city prosecutor and after examining the motion, it was only approved by the court. So, for information, chief of police just have to sign this. Signed. Okay. So, dito sa second paragraph, it is not always na may mga motion kaya na, kaya, kaya na postpone yung hearing or yung arraignment. There are a lot of reasons. So, depende sa facts na ibibigay sa inyo. But in our case, dun sa binigay ko na, na case about uh, Havelana versus Limsaka, so the the counsel of the respondent requested for a motion for reinvestigation. Kaya naset yung hearing for some other date. Kasi in ni prosecutor yung motion niya. Okay? So, ayun lang. Those are the important things you need to know about this. Alright? So, ang, ito naman, itong mga nandito sa number 1. It's all given on the case. Dito sa number 2, ito yung pinaka-importante na dapat uh, na kailangan mabasa sa report nyo. The reason, the reason why you are writing this after case hearing report is para malaman ng officer mo kung ano nangyari dun sa case nung uh, tao na yon ng PDL na hawak mo. Ito kasi commonly nagbabali talaga siya. Minsan hindi umatend yung other party. Minsan, yun, nag-request ng mga motions. Minsan, wala si judge. Pwede, pwede kong ibigay sa fax na na yung na set aside yung hearing or yung arraignment because walang judge na uupo. The judge is not available. Okay? So, ayan. I think I've discussed all the important things you need to know about after case hearing report as what I said earlier this is very simple okay sobrang simple lang nito so uh, the same ano the same process tayo the same procedure I'll upload it to my YouTube account you just have to watch it and then answer your activity I'll post it via Edmodo after uploading this uh, lecture video so yun that's another set Uh, that's another session. Thank you so much and uh, enjoy.